Hey guys, what's going on? Robert Warshak here, and we're going to be going over the Quest Warrior. I've been playing and tinkering this deck with like two seasons now. I finally got it to a point where I feel comfortable posting it because we have well over a 55% win rate with it. And um, it took me from, I think, six or 700 Legend to top three or 400 uh, this evening. It's been going on a tear. Does really good. Wins against Shaman. Wins, it, wins, it, it does really well against any aggro to mid range deck. We're going to cover the deck, everything in it, why it's in there. From there, we're going to head to the game so you guys can see the deck in action. Uh, when we cover the deck, I'm going to do it in less than three minutes, which is why this, you see a timer there. And if you do like the deck, it does perform well for you. Uh, throw an up vote or a comment. And if it, you don't like it, you're like, Rob, this sucks. Throw a down vote. Let me know it sucks. And then without further ado, let's get into it. Hack the system. The point of the quest warrior. Once this is complete, we're going to have the ability to make many, many uh, uh, four, three guys. And because we can use it, it refreshes every time we attack, we can make multiple of those uh, per turn. Town crier. There's a lot of rush minions in the deck. Being able to play a one mana one two that draws one of those is really strong in the early game. Execute. Uh, this is our single target removal. We don't run shield slam in the deck um, just because we need armor for that. This deck, we can't guarantee the armor because we have so many weapons and they're attacking minions so we can get our quest done. So execute. No armor is needed. Just a damaged minion. Frightened Flunky. How do you not put this guy in a deck? It's a two mana two two that generates another minion. That minion most of always has taunt. Warpath, really good clear, uh, really good against Shaman, really good against any aggressive style class, and uh, yeah, Soul the Murloc doesn't stand a chance. Weapons Project, only one of these guys, and that's because giving opponents weapons is really bad. We only run one Harrison Jones, and the fact that uh, we don't run Shield Slams, the extra six armor really isn't that big of a deal. Livewire Lance, a good weapon. Every time we attack, we get a Lackey. Lackeys are good, and it has two charges to that can be upgraded with green skin. Snip Snap, how do you not play Snip Snap in any deck? ever <laughs> blood hoof braze a four mana two six taunt and it gets plus three damage wire plus three attack while damage really solid turn for play and it's really obnoxious for aggro decks to get through restless mummy uh this guy is just really really good at trading you can kill either two minions or one big minion and you draw it with town crier wrench caliber again because we're running the quest we have to run weapons this is a pretty good weapon we put two bombs in our opponent's deck which is basically 10 damage if we also put two bombs on their deck they can't ac activate zephyrus or at least if they haven't drawn them and it also uh does six damage if we count both charges brawl one brawl is enough we do run already the double war path and i found that just having the one brawl catches people off guard if they see one brawl they expect two so we only run one captain green skin upgrade weapons there's a ton of weapons in the deck and uh, being able to make them stronger is good crowley again rush minions with the town crier is good being able to trade into a minion if left unchecked he just keeps trading and growing harrison jones uh being able to weapons project harrison jones is ideally the best situation you draw three cards you gain six armor and you get a five four on the board if not there's a lot of popular uh decks that do run weapons and a lot of people are running Zephyrus and if they do Zephyrus they pick Tyrion if they pick Tyrion you play Harrison they get mad Zilliax again the fact that this guy and Snip Snap are just two cards you really just can't go without uh, Armored Goon because there's so many weapons and Soul Thriss uh, we play Armored Goon every time a, one of our weapons attacks we gain five armor uh, because of the fact that we're attacking with our weapons and the minions we take a lot of damage this guy hopefully mitigates that damage plus he is also a really big body and combos exceedingly well with this weapon and this weapon says whenever we overkill a minion we attack again so Technically, if we have the Soul Thres out, we play the Armor Goon, we can attack four times, we gain 20 armor, we theoretically can kill four minions, and we can also summon a bunch of four threes with our hero power. Ragnaros, guy's just cool, throws fireballs, kills shit, and it's really good if Varian Rin pulls him out, and again, because this is a, uh, one of the cards that rotated over from Wild to Standard, we want to throw this guy, just because he's a cool card, it's not necessarily you need Varian, again, he's just a cool meme card. So with that, let's head into the games, we hit it under three minutes, and enjoy. Like, I speed test, and I can see my upload is two. That's not enough. This guy's aggro. It should honestly fix itself soon, though. It's been going on for like five minutes now, so it should fix. This guy, last time I played him, coined Finley before. Now he just did it again. Down that road. I know what you did. <clears throat> I will not be the knife. Job done. 
Oh, that sucks. <laughs> this is good, though. If he has another secret, though, this actually becomes out of reach, which means I have to weapon into it. He taps. Does he have another secret? No other secret. Cool. So I'll be able to full clear. So trade. Trade, trade. Man, this hero power is bad. So I go like faceless weapons project lackey or I just play Zilliax and call it a day. I don't think I make that trade. I just ha I think they stare at each other here. <laughs> Zephyrus, it's gonna give him a backstab. Maybe he picks the more value play though. Maybe he'll allow me to heal for three. It's also really good if I draw a snip snap. It's backstab. actually pretty solid I will not be denied. do I execute and then trade into the Zephyrus or do I leave Zephyrus I feel like there's better things be for me to execute I'm just hoping he doesn't have Mysterious Challenger on 6. He had Mysterious Challenger on 6 last time we played. Alright, good. If I hit this, I can hit that. Yeah, it looks good. Do I hit this for one execute then weapon? No. Seems fine. And then which one of these do I execute if I even execute? I feel like executing that now, like we should have done it the turn before. What a flat. Welcome back. Alright, now we get the, uh, the upgraded thing now, so we can do some spooge. Spooge online. Uh, the stream should be good now, I would refresh it, guys. Uh, actually, it's still kind of red, I don't know. Rag, uh, I hope Rag goes, honestly, face. I mean, it, it really depends how good our rag is. Alright, rag. Rag hit his rag. Oh, no. That was bad. That was bad rag. Put your faith in the light. <laughs> uh oh. That's probably redemption. Now his rag's gonna kill my rag. That's how that's gonna work. 
That's how it does it every time, man. Oh, shit. That's not how it did it at all. Alright, um... If I attack that, and that's a redemption, I get destroyed. Yeah, I mean, I had to. There's there's no way I can't. Rag hit rag? Okay. He has 11. He drew a bomb. Okay. So if rag would've went face, that was lethal as well. That would have been a sick win right there. So he needs four damage here. Alright, how do I win? Do we have burst? We have no burst. Our only burst is calibers and bombs <laughs> and weapons face. Um, He has a free trade into a goon with his Tyrion. Concentration is two. Please don't tell me you had to think about having four damage, my dude. Yeah, okay. So he's playing around. Okay. So I can Jones that. Alright. So he's playing around the rag hit. That was actually really good. That was actually so sick. Alright, so that's gonna be a noble sack, right? So if that's a noble sack and an avenge... No, it'd be a noble sack... I don't know. It's probably a noble sack. Do I attack? I'm gonna take... It takes me down to seven. And then if it gets reborn, eh, whatever. Okay. If it's a redemp, it can't be a redemption. He doesn't have seven bursts in his deck, so. And we had to do that to line up the win next turn. Unless we were going to go for like a soul res play. But even if he gets Zephyrus, it's only six. So, whoo! What a game. All right, we're back to green. You're fresh, boys. We green again. Enter. Internet is back to being not Walmart shit face. Garbage can. Deathwing versus Thrall. Ego waffle. Nice. It's a lot of weapons. We need earlier game though. We need weapons like weapons project, flunky, live wire, stuff like that. Is it safe now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's safe now. You can come out, boys. Rabo Bouncer is actually a pretty good pick. Because there's not, um, the only other, I guess there's Bloodhoof Braves in the deck, but that's the only other taunt. The Bouncer is good because, you know, the Shaman plays a lot of minions, so we'll probably be able to get him out sooner rather than later. The Armadillo stat-wise, though, is just pretty, pretty solid. I'm gonna lean towards the Bouncer, though. All right, that's cool, gringo. You do you, man. Stay back. All 
Next turn he does a toad on my coin Crowley. I lied. Harrison Jones, 2 OP. Draw three cards. Yo, nice Mogu. Gruel. That's kind of good. Do I really want to take eight? <laughs> Not really. I could have played a weapon and attacked, but I don't think that was worth it. Imagine losing with Shaman to our deck, chat. I'd cry every time. If this guy loses to our deck. Oh my god. We just nutter buttered this man's sneha sauce. Alright. Quest Warrior best deck confirmed. Alright, another tier S shaman. Let's see if we can back to back shaman win here. Alright, we gotta play our we gotta play uh, our our uh, banger song right here. We gotta play the banger song. This is the song that's gonna give us the power to be able to beat two shamans back to back. You guys ready for the banger song? This place is scary. On curve, iron for a grizzly. Our tunnel blaster <laughs> on curve iron for a grizzly hell yeah brother give me that shit <laughs> all right right here here's the song of a thousand truths boys whoa right here this is the song Turn it up. I have an this is the song. This is the mood. So I'm going to brawl. What's going to actually live is a 6-6. Six, six. But I'm hoping it's the 1-1. One, one. Oh! Kasami da! We need chance! Yeah, we're good. Good now, Kyle. Like I said, it does it for 5 to 10 minutes every about 2 hours. Sometimes a little bit longer. Cause lately we don't win no money. Easy. Four out of five on the quest.
It's because I paid for this new warrior skin, that's why. If I wouldn't have spent money to buy this new warrior skin, I wouldn't have had that good, good RNG. But this game was like, damn, this guy pre-ordered both the $80, $80 pack and the $60 or the $50 one. We got to give this guy some of that good, good. Yeah, I pre-ordered both. I have to pre-order both. I gotta put, like, you know what I mean? That's my job. I gotta have all the cards. The only way to have all the cards is to buy the packs. If I don't buy the packs, I don't get the cards. If I don't get the cards, I can't make content. Don't make the content. Nobody watch. If nobody watches, I can't do this shit. You know what I'm saying? All right. <laughs> Ooh, daddy. Double payday tomorrow. Easy, so here's easy. a little for Let's one get of it my done. Clap, claps all night long. Destroying the shaman. Tier S deck with what? The quest warrior. Get it done. Get it right. Get it tight. Here we go. Kamisame da. That's the flow. Lightning storm. No problem, bro. Gonna go ahead and death rad dull. Never mind. It's all dead. Yo, Korean Jesus with the 25, dude. Double payday tomorrow, so here's a little one for my favorite streamers. Thank you, dude. That is a very, very, very generous of you. Thank you, homie. What's up with the double payday? What'd you do? I want a double payday. <laughs> How do I get YouTube to give me a double payday? No, but that's sick, dude. Thank you again. That's so awesome. Korean, what do you do? What up, RFO? What's up, man? Oh, shit, son. That's good. That's so good. So we hit him with this. We hit him with this. Oh, this is going to be good. Do a little bit of that. Do a little bit of this. Do a little bit of this. Do a little bit of that. All right, we're good now, boys. Oh, get wrecked, shaman scum. Two job and one pays time and a half on Sundays. I'm a baker and I work at Costco. Nice. Which one do you like more? I have a feeling you like Costco more. <laughs> He's a hooker. Time and a half on Sundays. <laughs> on my uh, on my Bumble profile, I have a I'm a cam girl. <laughs> it probably delays my matches, but that's what I have as like job title. <laughs> How much damage we got, boys? We got uh, eight, thirteen, fourteen. 16 22 i see 22 i see 23 i'm at 23 that's it right let's count it again to confirm all right we got 10 19 20 23 on the spot there it is what you like to see what you don't like to feel the control warrior coming at you like oh o'neill that's a double kill on the tier s shaman deck top 500 legend off to see it. Off to see it. 